Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today we're going to be looking at one of the classics of British cuisine, the humble sausage roll. So when you ask most Brits anything about sausage rolls, they'll probably mention this company, Greg's, which is a huge chain of bakery and sandwich stores. They've actually got more than 2,000 branches in the UK now, which is phenomenal. And one of the things they're most famous for is their sausage roll. And they actually sell more than 2 million of these every week. Can you, can you imagine that? That is an awful lot of sausage rolls. And controversially, in my opinion, an awful lot of awful sausage rolls, because I don't like these things. Lots of other people do. So who am I to disagree? So we're going to take this to bits and uh, analyse it maybe. Uh, do a bit of a taste test and then I'm going to make my own version which is not intended to be a copycat of this because I believe I can do better than Greg's. Mm. So the thing about these sausage rolls and the other Greg's pastry based uh, pasty type products which mostly they don't, they don't call them pasties they're, they're like bakes so you've got steak bake, chicken bake and so on. They taste better when they're hot and sometimes if you're lucky and they've just come out the oven in the shops you can get them hot, but um, if they've gone cold, they will not reheat them. And the reason they won't sell you a hot pasty or sausage roll is something called the pasty tax. This was the brainchild of this bloke, George Osborne, who was in charge of the UK economy in 2012, who proposed that VAT should be payable on hot takeaway food. Now, Greg's and other similar companies argued that it was only hot incidentally because it had been baked on the premises and was cooling down. Anyway, so uh, that's why you can't have a hot sausage roll from Greg's. Even though they're better when they're hot. Right, let's, uh, let's just whack a bit off the... No, let's measure it. It is six inches long, which is 150 millimetres, 15 centimetres. So let's chop a bit off. And you can see it's flaky pastry with some compressed homogenous pink stuff in the middle. I'll actually, I'll take that out and taste it on its own. Hmm. It's okay. It's very, very mild and tastes vaguely of sausage. It's not the greatest thing, but it's okay. And that costs £1.20. So I'm going to make my own sausage meat. You could buy some and add any seasoning, any flavouring that you like or that you think it needs. You could buy your favourite sausages and just rip the meat out of the casings um, or make your own as I'm doing here. So a thing you'll need if you're making your own is a, a good seasoning mix. So I'm doing something based on uh, Lincolnshire sausage seasoning, which is sagey. So I've got sage from our garden. Three grams. Yeah, and obviously this isn't the most accurate device for tiny little quantities. We need 25 grams of fine salt. Then we want five grams of white pepper. And three grams of nutmeg. As thinly as you can. And then cut them across. There we go, done a lot pretty. <laughs> uh, give it a good old shake. For the filling I've got 500 grams of minced pork and that is 20% fat. And really you do want a high fat content because fat is flavour. I've also got 100 grams of rusk which I made myself and I think I explained how to make that in the same video as how to make puff pastry. If you don't fancy making your own rusk, and I don't blame you, even though it's easy, you can use coarse breadcrumbs. For the seasoning, we need 36 grams per kilo, but we've only got 600 grams. So what to do? Well, divide your 36 by 10, you get 3.6 per 100 grams, and multiply that by six gives you 21.6 for your 600 grams. Clever, eh? So let's see if we can weigh that. Right, you want to get this all nicely mixy mixy, scrunchy wunchy. It might take some timey whiny. Uh, 
the sploosh of water and that'll just hydrate the rusks a little bit. You do want a really smooth texture. Maybe not as smooth as Greg's did it. If you're a massive fan of this channel you'll know that I don't like puff pastry or flaky pastry on pies. However, for sausage rolls it's the perfect thing and you'll be pleased to know I'm not going to make my own even though I know how to do it. <laughs> So I've got this pack which is 375 grams and then I've got another one which is 320. So we should have more than enough. They're both 25.5 centimetres long which is 10 inches. I've got a baking sheet lined with greaseproof paper. So I scatter some flour on the worktop and divide the filling into four equal pieces. Roll them out into sausages that are the same length as the width of the pastry which is what, what did I say? Ten and a half inch things? There we go. These are going to be good sausage rolls. And we'll just take those out of the way because now we have to do the pastry thing. Okay, a bit of flour on the worktop. So let's, let's just have a, a mess about. Alright, uh, so I'll get three out of this one. I will need a bit for the fourth one out of there. I want to do a sort of lattice effect because you know Greg's uh, fairly fairly up with that uh, mainly as a way of uh, identifying different products because they'll do a different kind of lattice design on them as it happens on their sausage roll they just do you know 10 diagonal slashes which is a bit boring so we get the lattice machine link below if you want to get one Right, I've kind of abandoned that first one because um, I realised that the, the cuts that I've made on this side don't go all the way through. So, you know, it won't actually have much effect on the finished sausage rolls. And what I want to do is uh, flip the pastry over. Easier said than done. It's got warm. So it's actually sticking to the paper a bit. <laughs> you know, I, I, I make a thing about not being a perfectionist, but um, sometimes I wish some things would go better. Oh, right, over you go, yes. Okay. Sausage. Roll. And we'll just paint some egg wash on there to make it stick. This is beaten egg with a bit of milk. Yay! Right, I'm going to try doing it this way and I can not do this bit so we've got a handle. <laughs> to hold on to it with. Oh no! And uh, don't press too hard. Flipping heck. <laughs> so we can actually flip this over onto the other bit of paper. Yeah, this is really, oh, got too hot. Um, okay. Okay, really poly. We just need to well chop them into pieces. I've cut these into three, uh, so they're about nine ten centimeters long, um, which is plenty. And then paint them with the egg wash which will make them nice and golden and then transfer them to the baking sheet. We want the oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven or air fryer oven. That is 200 for a conventional one and that is gas 6. And I'll put them in for 30 to 35 minutes. So it's actually had 30 minutes and I think it's probably okay. Oh yeah, uh -huh, look at those. 
So we'll let those cool down for five minutes, then we will do a taste test. And I'm heating up the Greg's one as well to make it fair. And now it's taste test time with a mystery taste tester. That's the fridge, come here. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> I've no idea who this is. Okay, so, so we've got some sausage rolls. Yeah. And I will hand you. You're not allowed to touch them because then you'd guess which okay. is which. So I've okay. got to do it on. <laughs> Flavour alone. Flavour alone. So here you go. First one coming up. Open your god. <laughs> Nice pastry. Thank you. Mm. Warm, savoury, soft filling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second one. Mm -hmm. That's a proper sausage roll. I know who this is. <laughs> it's Mrs. Keith Court. <laughs> it's completely unbiased. <laughs> you can take the thing off now. There you go, that's yours. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, that's yours. Mm. I don't want to because I hot, I hotted it up. Uh, I mean, uh, the, yeah. You um, know, yeah. That, that's sort of decent, yeah? Yeah. Savoury, it's warm, it's quite filling. Mm. But I prefer mm. the texture of this. Oh, actually. And I like being I married, so, this, yeah. you know. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. more like it, isn't it? That one's mine, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, right. Okay. Champion. High and by. I'm going in search of my glasses because I can't actually see. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> for watching. Bye. Come here. And see you next time. Okay, we just had a little discussion. The ones that I made are way too salty. So if you're going to make these, probably reduce the amount of salt by about half. So Greg's wins. Damn.